It's April and the code for April is NHS Heroes so that we think about these wonderful, wonderful people all the time who are helping so much to bring our life back to normal. Hey guys, it's new me. I'm back with you. We're going to do a regular video on the channel for a change today. Um, there will be at least one more community video uh, coming up, but today we're talking about some of the different formats of Royal Mint uh, coins and what are the best ones to get. The first thing I want to say is that everybody has their own firm favourites and uh, there is no right or wrong answer. Today I'm going to be looking at two examples of what I think is my favourite uh, at the moment and that is the two ounce coins. So they can be silver or they can be gold but that two ounce, totally over the top, totally chunky kind of coin. And uh, there are two examples that I want to talk about. Um, a few months ago, you, you guys probably know and probably saw other videos on it, the Royal Mint came out with the first of the Great Engravers series, featuring the, um, the Una and the Lion pattern coin. 225 of these coins were minted, uh, or there may actually be 250 of them around because there may be some that aren't in this packaging as well. They are absolutely fabulous coins. Um, I did have one. I now no longer had it because I used the proceeds of it to buy an 1853 half sovereign or contribute towards one of those coins. That was my decision on this particular coin. But I bought it because... Uh, I really like the two ounce format, whether it's silver or whether it's gold. I think it's special enough and chunky enough to really make an impact. And I think that the higher an impact, uh, the higher the impact a coin makes, the better it is likely to do. If you go way over to five ounces or 10 ounces, then I think the market is a little bit smaller and those coins don't tend to do quite as well. But I think if I had to choose a Royal Mint sweet spot, it would be the two ounce silver or the two ounce gold format. And uh, I say this coin did do spectacularly well. These coins have changed hands for, you know, they were originally at the Royal Mint for £4,000. They've changed hands over the last few months at anything up to, to my knowledge, about £27,000. Sounds crazy, but there's a lot of people who want these coins in their collection and they are the kind of people who are willing to pay very good money for one of these coins. I don't think this is going to happen to every two ounce gold coin, but I do think that um, there will be some two ounce gold coins which, uh, which show not quite the same appreciation, but are pretty good buys from the mint. And the one I'm going to show you today is a coin that uh, arrived very recently, and it's another one in the same format, but it's not in the same series. So it's not part of the Great Engravers series of classical coins that went so high in the secondary market. But it's a very interesting coin in its own right, and I have to say this coin was a little bit of a struggle to get from the Royal Mint, there are very few of these that were minted. It seemed everybody wanted one. And uh, even despite the initial mint price, there was uh, a stampede of people trying to get hold of these coins from the mint. And the mint were not playing ball and were not allocating these coins to a lot of the people who wanted them. And you can see here, the coin is a two ounce gold coin and it's part of the new Royal Mint Bands series. So the first one of the band series is Queen. Uh, the next one has been delayed at the moment due to the, um, due to the, the, the current coronavirus crisis. Uh, it wasn't the right time to launch this kind of coin and uh, will be launched later on in the year. But um, so this is the first one. And what the Royal Mint have done with this coin is um, it, it's kind of off the radar. The Una and the Lion was available on the Royal Mint website and people could have gone on during that first day and ordered one of those coins exactly like I did. This coin is different. This is part of a, 
a kind of under the radar hidden collection of coins that goes throughout the Royal Mint. They have certain coins that they offer on the website, they have certain coins they offer to members of their Mint Mark team, they have uh, Mint Mark uh, customers, they have certain coins that um, are done as special editions for particular resellers. There's a whole variety of way these coins are sold. And this particular coin, there was a teaser actually on the Royal Mint website about it, but it never actually got sold from the website. It was pre-allocated based on uh, you know how, how much you begged the Royal Mint during the preceding few weeks. Uh, I begged a lot, and as a consequence, I was issued one of these coins. So the Una and the Lion coin that did so well had 220 to 250 mintage, and it was sold on the Royal Mint website and available for the general public to buy. This coin is a much, much more limited mintage. There were many Queen coins available on the Royal Mint website one way or another to buy, including a lot of the one ounce ones, silver, the, uh, the gold, one ounce gold, the quarter ounce gold. There are a variety of different formats for this Queen coin. But this particular one that you're gonna to see today is just a little bit special. Um, this one is uh, exactly the same manufacturing, I think, as the two ounce silver coin. So there was a 500 edition of the two ounce silver coin that was released with an enhanced finish. The keys on the keyboard were enhanced uh, during manufacturing to uh, to show you, uh, you know, effectively playing the first bars of uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. The key thing about this coin is it's 62.42 grams, so it's two full ounces of gold, and there are only 53 of these coins that were minted. Uh, the, the, the number comes from the number of singles that Queen had as a band, and uh, I think that uh, it's a really good idea. So, you know, I mean, they, they always do that. If it's an 007 coin, it might have, you know, 1007 mintage, uh, this particular one. They like to try and relate it to something that kind of makes sense and have a bit of fun with their mintage numbers. But as a consequence of that, you have a coin here, which is a two ounce gold coin. It was never offered to the general public and it only has a mintage of 53 coins. Um, none of these have yet sold in the secondary market. It's too early and certainly with the, uh, the virus and the pandemic now may not be the right time to kind of test the sale of one of these coins. But I have a hunch that when these do hit the secondary market, they will do particularly well. Um, and uh, it should be interesting. I think there should be a bit of pent up demand for these and several people who want them and who want these this particular format of coin in their collection and who missed out the first time round. So let's talk in general about the two ounce format and why I think it's uh, it's a pretty nice format. Um, the Royal Mint started the two ounce format with the Queen's Beast bullion coins and I think that um, that chunky silver format worked really well. You know, everybody's got a one ounce bullion coin. One ounce is the norm. And I think that there's a lot of people who just go for that normal, straightforward, average kind of coin. But there's a lot, a lot of other people, quite a big market, who believe that they want to collect something different. And there's a lot of people who are collecting the Queen's Beast bullion series as a two ounce coin. In, uh, in silver, I think that by having a limited mintage, a really chunky coin, special production techniques, uh, I think the two ounce silver coin is a really attractive coin in the Royal Mint's collection. And for those people who are you know, aiming a little bit higher, then that two ounce gold is certainly one to go for either brand new or maybe even in the secondary market as well.